it's a product that you drink, you know, sharing good moments with your friends, and, uh, and it has been particularly uh, uh, resilient. For the U.S., what are consumers wanting? The premiumization is a very uh, a strong trend that we have today in the, in the, in the U.S. Whiskies is doing quite well, and uh, obviously with Jameson, uh, we have uh, one of the leading brands uh, in that uh, category. Uh, tequila is also growing fast, in particular on the high end. Cognac has also boomed uh, in, uh, in the U.S. Your CEO says you guys are very bullish on acquisitions in the year ahead. Is there, what are you guys eyeing? Well, we've had over the last years a very active portfolio management, selling, selling non-core uh, declining brands and buying some uh, new to world, fast growing uh, niche brands. So for instance, in the last few years, we bought Avion, the super premium tequila. We, 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 we had a partnership with the Monkey 47, the, the, the super premium gin. I think it's linked also to the millennials uh, that we want obviously to recruit with our brands. They want newness, they want um, product authenticity and quality. Uh, they want also digital connection. So that's what we try to do with our brands. Uh, our uh, debt has decreased a lot, so uh, we have the financial power to be able to make uh, acquisitions again. Well, I think the U.S. economy is, is strong and it's doing well. I think the, the impact on the, of the U.S. tax reform on our effective tax rate was not significant. Uh, I saw that you know, some companies started to increase wages of their employees, which should then uh, have a positive impact on consumption. So yes, we welcome that tax reform. All right, so right now you guys are the second um, largest spirit company in the world. How do you get to that top spot? What are you guys working on? Well, we want to grow at a higher pace than the, than the industry, and uh, that's what we've done in, in, in many years, in the last 15 years. The strengths that we have in emerging markets, which are accelerated their growth, should allow us at some point you know, uh, to, to, uh, to uh, become uh, the leader. We are not obsessed by that. What we want first is to uh, be the one beating uh, the growth of the industry and being the one that can bring the, the, the innovations, you know, the one leading the, the, the changes and the transformation of the, of the industry going forward. We want to be ahead of the curve.